Hey there, this is Jacob Wood with Douglas Elliman Real Estate. Now, it is uh, always a debate across New York City whether renting or owning is the better structure, the better investment. And I think looking at the question purely from a financial perspective is the wrong way of looking at it. In fact, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, and this is blasphemy for a New York City real estate agent to say, but owning in New York City doesn't pencil out the way it does in the rest of the country from a strictly financial perspective. I mean, in the rest of the country, rent is actually higher than mortgage plus upkeep. If you have, can afford your down payment, you'll actually save money each month. Whereas in New York City, rent is about 35% cheaper for a comparable home than mortgage plus maintenance. In the rest of America, you can afford to buy with a 3.5% FHA loan for your down payment. In New York City, you gotta tie up a chunk of your equity in a 20% down payment in a co-op, which is two thirds of the purchase inventory. Across the rest of the country, owners are using a much higher percentage percentage of their disposable income on their living expenses. Let's say you're going to pay $2,500 across the rest of the country on average uh, to keep a roof over your head whether you're renting or owning. First of all, that money is going to go a little further if you're owning. Renting is more expensive. And second of all, 30% of it's going to go back to you in, in paying all, down the principal on your mortgage. That's really valuable for someone making, you know, a hundred grand a year who purchased something four times the value of their annual income. They, they really need that. That's valuable to them. In New York City, earnings are so much higher that owners tend to use a smaller percentage of their assets and their income on their purchase. They're going to be investing either way. They don't need that forced savings account as much. In fact, from, a, from an owner's perspective in New York City, if you're thinking, do I want to tie up four or five hundred K in the down payment of a home? Do I want to put it in the stock market? Do I want to tie up eight grand a month in mortgage and maintenance? Or do I want to spend six grand to rent a comparable home and then put an extra two grand towards some kind of investment. Well, in the stock market, you're going to get long-term average value appreciation of about 8% and a 2% exit cost. For real estate, we appreciate in value about 4% on average over the long term in New York City, and you got about a 9% exit cost. So from a strictly financial perspective, buying in New York City doesn't pencil out the same way as it does in the rest of the country. Now, there are some financial advantages to owning in New York City. Uh, you're essentially locking in a lifetime of rent control when you own. That mortgage payment is going to stay the same, whereas your rent is just going to go up an average of 4% a year, just like property values do. But again, we don't necessarily want a strict financial perspective to guide whether or not we buy in New York City. You buy in New York City for peace of mind, for quality of life, for security, and for stability. I mean, let's look at quality of life. Let's say you want a charming, preserved pre-war detail and a spacious layout. That means you pretty much got to buy. The pre-war rentals in New York City have been chopped up since the landlord can make more money renting more smaller homes than fewer large ones, and they've been gut renovated over and over again. There's no charm, no preserved detail left. Or let's say you prefer a, uh, a luxury high-rise, more of a modern building. There is uh, no price point you can rent at to get yourself a good property management company for your rental building. There's virtually no such thing as a good property management rental company in New York City. Uh, you're going to have volatile lease renewals. You're going to have amenities out all the time. You're going to have construction in the middle of the day. That's your fate, in, e even in a nice rental. Now, if you buy, you're going to have better neighbors. Instead of folks that are in and out in a year and then gone, you have people whose interest in the long-term health of both the building and of the neighborhood is equal to your own. When you buy, your neighborhood is yours. You get to stay there for as long as you want, regardless of how high property values get. Your kids are locked into those schools for as long as they want to be. You know, when you own, you're going to put more effort into interior design because that place is yours. And you're going to wake up every morning in a home that feels more like your home because that's exactly what it is. It's yours. So when you buy in New York City, it's about stability. It's about putting down roots. It's about avoiding risk and creating peace of mind around your space where you and your family live. This is Jacob Wood with Douglas Elliman Real Estate.